improving ties with Tokyo and offering North Korea with significant amount of support in exchange for substantive denuclearization. Those were the key messages from President Yoon Sang-yeol as the nation marks 77 years since its liberation from Japan's colonial rule. Yoon Jung-min shares with us his remarks. South Korea must improve relations with Japan by overcoming historical disputes and achieve peace with North Korea as key steps towards boosting the stability and security of Northeast Asia and beyond. That's President Yoon song yeol as he spoke at a ceremony on Monday, marking 77 years since Korea's liberation from Japan's 1910-1945 colonial rule. Among the proposed were a large-scale food program, ways to enhance agricultural productivity and foreign investment, which Seoul's top office called a bold action. It's a bold proposal as it actively seeks economic support measures for the regime at an early stage if North Korea returns to the denuclearization talks with sincerity. The South Korean leader also took the occasion to make clear of his intention to improve Seoul-Tokyo ties, one that have been at a record low over disputes such as Japan's wartime sexual enslavement of Korean women and the use of forced labor. 한일 관계의 포괄적 미래상을 제시한 김대중 오부치 공동선언을 계승하여 한일 관계를 빠르게 회복하고 발전시키겠습니다. 양국 정부와 국민이 서로 존중하면서 경제, 안보, 사회, 문화에 걸친 폭넓은 협력을 통해 국제 사회의 평화와 번영에 Addressing the public with only two days left until his 100th day in office, the South Korean leader also touched upon economic tasks that lie ahead, ranging from the immediate task of compensating for last week's flood damage to long-term plans such as belt tightening in the public sector and regulatory reform. Yoon Jung-min, Arirang News.